Happy Friday! Good morning, all empathic sensitive souls. How are you? How has the week gone? I had a really rough morning. It is dreary and rainy, and I just wanted to stay in bed. I was so comfortable, and I was dreaming. Don't ask me what I was dreaming, because I don't remember. I remember when I woke up, but then I forgot. But I had to stretch. I had to do some breath work. And I discovered this morning that I haven't been practicing my deep breathing for about mm, three weeks or so, a month. And I can't breathe as deep right now. So I need to practice breathing in, holding, and releasing it. So I was working on that this morning. And then to get myself up and moving, I had to sing, Yay, it's Friday! Yay! To get myself cheered up and moving. I was just so ready to stay in bed and sleep and not go to work today. But alas, I have to work. The breath work really hit me. I wasn't expecting this, I can't take a deep breath in today. That was kind of crazy for me. So now I know I need to practice my breath work. And it sounds funny saying practice breathing, but I don't know what else to do because I don't, or call it, because, it, you know, you normally just breathe. You don't try to take deep breaths all the time. How has this week gone? I have had a noticeable lack of motivation part of it is it was so hot and humid i couldn't i didn't want to move you know when you get out of work and you get in the car and the car temperature reads 99 and you drive down the road thinking you're going to cool off and the temperature goes down to 96 and you're like mm, yeah it's a warm one out there and we've had a mix of sun and clouds, and they keep calling for rain every single day, but it hasn't rained. And if it does, it's a spit on the window just to, you know, make the dust look horrible on your window and you can't see out of it. But that's it. Now this is the typical, maybe not as hot, but typical July weather where my grass starts to die off and you don't have to mow for a good three weeks because the grass is dead. And now it's hitting <clears throat> at the end of August here. But then usually at the end of September, we get a heat wave, the dog days of summer, the last hurrah. While we're in school riding the bus home for an hour, those big yellow school buses with no air conditioning, and you would be sweltering by the time you got home. Of course, we started school the third week of August, and now they don't start till after Labor Day, which is probably a good thing, because I don't think the kids would have survived this heat wave. Not that kids ride the bus anymore, because all the parents drive them, or they have a car and drive. I didn't have a car till I was out of school. Times have changed. But this lack of motivation for me is very real this week. I was motivated to eat ice cream every night this week. Just to cool down was my excuse. But what do I do to motivate myself? I go back to practicing my mantras, setting my timer, doing short stints of whatever work I have to do, patting myself on the back and cheering myself on, celebrating my small wins, whatever they are. This coming weekend is Labor Day weekend, and I have a great-nephew birthday party to go to. I need to go grocery shopping somewhere along the line. I don't want to go before the party because then it's a mad dash to get back home in time, and it's a mad dash to get to the party in time. And I don't want that struggle on a Saturday morning. 
so I may go grocery shopping afterwards. And I know the stores are going to be crazy busy because it's Labor Day weekend and everybody's out shopping to buy food for the holiday party. I just need regular food for regular work and regular every day. But it's, I know it's going to be a struggle because it, it, it's the weekend and it's a holiday and, and that's just the way it goes. So how do I, how do I get myself up and going for that? I always like to sing, it's a good day to be a good day. Now, do I believe it every day? No, but I give it a good old college try. And I'm working on it. I am trying to prop myself up, prep myself, get the energy together to do these things. And the thing is, is I know I can do it. And I know I survive just fine. It's just the expenditure of energy to survive the grocery store and the prices. That's why I usually drag one of the kids with me because then we make it into an adventure. Now, why I can't make it into an adventure for myself, I'll never know. But it helps me make it into an adventure and see what we can see and where can we go and fun and exciting things to do with the kids. And I can do that. So we'll see what happens. What's your plans for the holiday weekend? I have a birthday party. I know I got to go grocery shopping. I'm trying to rearrange furniture in my house. That's going to be a struggle because I don't have enough room to swivel things around. So I have to make room. So I have to totally clutter up one room to declutter the other room to move things then to put everything back where it should go not just in stacks like I like my stacks so that's my plans for the weekend I may be able to accomplish it but I'm not going to set it in stone if I get to it great if I don't great and I'm okay with that I did make a card the other night for my cousin's birthday I love card making. The problem I have is finding the right paper with the right stamp, with the right saying, the right colors, and it becomes overwhelming for me. But I took a deep breath. I set the intention I was going to have fun with it. And gosh darn it, I did. And I love the card. So setting the intention that it's okay and it's going to be good and we can have fun it also helps to give me a little more motivation I'm gonna work on my breath work today work has been wonky to say the least so I'm gonna give it my all today and then I'm going to wrap presents tonight and be ready for a awesome birthday party tomorrow Trying to motivate myself has been a real struggle, but I'm working on it. And I give myself grace. Give yourself grace. Don't set the bar so high that you fail and then you feel horrible because you fail. Take it step by step. And I know the overwhelm is real because whew, I deal with it too. But I got to take it step by step and give myself grace because I'm the only one that's going to fix it or clean it or move it or rearrange it. And I have to give myself grace. Because otherwise I get down in the dumps on myself and I don't need that. Not right now. I've got more important things to work on besides being upset with myself because I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I'm an adult. If I want to have cake and ice cream for breakfast, gosh darn it, I can have cake and ice cream. Is it healthy for me? Probably not. But you know, once in a blue moon, it's okay. I do not recommend it every day because a sugar bomb, woo, sets me off. But that's okay. Once in a blue moon is fine. I don't do it every day. So if once in a blue moon you can't get to the things you want to get to, or if every day you can't get to the things you want to get to, take it one step at a time. 
breathe. Breathe through the emotion. I'm trying. I'm working on it. I hope you all have a fantastic holiday weekend. Monday is Labor Day. I may or may not pop on. Depends on what time I get up and moving on Monday. I don't think I have any plans, but I never know from day to day what my plans may be. So take care, everyone. If I don't talk to you on Monday, I will check in on Wednesday, and we'll see how everybody's holiday weekend went. Bye for now, everyone.